Hello there, this is Retro Spirits Garden, and this is Road Blasters for the Sega Mega Drive. Stroke Genesis. This is an Atari arcade game, licensed to Tengen, Tengen, uh, converted to the Mega Drive by Dennis Kowal and Lee somebody. It went off before I could read it. And this is what the game looks like. So, the Mega Drive version of Road Blasters looks like a fairly accurate arcade port. I haven't really played this game since the arcade. They had it in my local arcade, as it happens. And uh, I remember it being a stand-up cab with an accelerator on it and a steering wheel. And you had fire buttons on the steering wheel, which was very exciting. Mega Drive obviously doesn't have a steering wheel with fire buttons on it which you can use, or maybe it does. I never had one, I know I've never seen one. But for this game you're using a joypad, so deal with it, buddy. And uh, I haven't played this potentially since maybe it came out on the original Xbox in some compilation or other? Don't know. But what we have here is something that, in my mind, pretty accurately represents the arcade machine. Now, you can tell me differently if you like, or the internet can, but in my head, I'm looking at a pretty nigh on 98% perfect arcade port. Uh, don't know if that's true or not. We have got a lack of music during the actual races, but the sound effects that are here do sound exactly as I remember them, which is cool. I think the one thing that I do immediately notice as being slightly different is the colour in the far background. Like the cityscape thing there looks rougher than I remember it, but that could be my memory playing tricks on me. So what we have is a game which is dressed as a driving game. It's not a driving game. You don't need to slow down or worry about cornering at all, really. Um, as far as I can remember. And in fact, the Mega Drive version just has the accelerator on at all times. You don't have to do anything to accelerate your car. All we have to do is concentrate on steering the car around a corner and um, shooting the other cars with your pew pew gun to increase your score multiplier. So it's a bit like it's a bit like Space Invaders dressed in a car outfit. Avoid the mines. Collect the green and red orbs to increase your fuel, which isn't actual fuel, it is a timer. So this game is basically a timer based game. Oh, my fuel is empty. Oh, my timer's run out. I have four lives left. It automatically restarts you again. I don't know what's going on there. It's, um, you can't not restart. It's weird. Anyway, um, yeah, the fuel is, like I say, it's, it's not, it's a timer. So you have to get to the end of the stage before the timer runs out. And you can increase the timer by collecting the balls. Always collect the balls. With their lovely tingy sound effects. And increase that score multiplier to 10. And then when you get to the end of the stage, everything that you shot gets totted up. And with your score multiplier at 10, it turns it into more reserve fuel for you. So you get more time to complete those stages. Ah, oh, it's a positive feedback loop. Lovely stuff. It says Rally 2 there, like it's an actual rally. Not true. A lot of these sound effects are used across many Atari coin ops. I remember it's very similar sound effects in Tubin. But uh, that's not a problem. It's just, uh, just an observation. Uh, yeah, how observant am I? Uh, not very. Um, Okay, like I said, that background looks rough and rough. But all the sprite scaling stuff going on, not that it's sprite scaling, it's, re it's sprites drawn at different sizes. It's nice and smooth, and it looks like the arcade machine. So you can't argue with that. And I think the arcade, mach arcade machine actually did it in the same way. I don't think it had sprite scaling in it, from what I remember. Correct me if I'm wrong. The other thing that the arcade machine had, but this version doesn't, is the ability to... Uh, Send off your high score to obtain a t-shirt. Did I get to the end of that stage? I did. It just usually skids to a stop. 
Uh, you can't send away for a two shot with this one. No matter how well you do. Actually, I think one thing that did happen on the arcade was when that into that mid-level school thing came up. I think it used to slide up from the bottom of the screen and then slide back down then to play the game. But the Mega Drive was fade in, fade out. Unbelievable. How dare they. Ooh. Uh, the special weapons that drop out of the aircraft uh, are all quite fun. You get a Uzi, which is nice. You get that Nitro thing, which is uh, crazy. You get a nuclear bomb, which makes all the cars uh, transparent, irradiated, and you get a electro device. That's as far as I've got. I've got up to the electro device. I'm not great at this game, you may have noticed, and um, I find the gameplay agreeable. I do like this game. I'm just not good at it. Um, I actually prefer it now to when I played it in the 80s. Like I used to. I used to play it in the arcade, I'm not sure I ever enjoyed it, really. It was just quite an impressive cab to look at. Uh, but the Mega Drive version, the simplistic gameplay, uh, means I've had some fun out of it. I have to say, you don't need to press the accelerator, so you've only got two buttons to worry about. You've got steering, you've got your main weapon and your sub-weapon button, and that's all you need to worry about in this game. So it's good fun. Those little uh, gun turrets at the side that take pot shots at you are a pain in the ass. A little later on you get doom buggies that come in from the side and they just crash into you and explode you. So yeah, it's a game about not exploding, because if you explode it wastes time. And uh, getting to the end of the stage with a score multiplier big enough that gives you enough reserve fuel to get to the next stage. That's what you've got to worry about. And it's fun, and it looks cool, and it sounds alright. So, this game, this is the Japanese one has an ugly box, a very ugly, ugly front cover. It's like an airbrushed, gurning man uh, sitting astride a muscle car, uh, done in the American airbrush style, which isn't my favorite style. The instruction manual has a very bare bones look to it and content. So there's a few screenshots of the game in there some Japanese text, as is natural for a Japanese game. This background, look at that green mountain thing there. It's just a hideously one colour, isn't it? Never mind. Um, yeah, and it's it's between 30 and 60 quid, depending on condition. So if you were to get a brand new copy of this game, it cost you about 60 quid. If you're getting a second hand copy, about 30. Um, PAL, PAL version, don't know. I don't think I've ever seen this game PAL. I'm sure you can get this in America on the Genesis. And uh, I don't know how much that is either. But the Japanese version, depending on condition, between 30 and 60. Is it worth it? No, it's not worth that much money. It's a cool game. It's, it's fun. It is a fun game. It is just not worth that much money. Although it is a physical item, so, you know, it's one for collectors. But as with so many of these retro games these days, their cost doesn't really reflect their value as entertainment. I mean, you couldn't play this for six hours straight. You'd turn into some sort of, uh, I don't know, probably psychopath. Uh, your brain would start to dribble out of your nose and um, you'd have to go on a rampage. The, I mean, it's good for 10 minute bursts is what I'm trying to say. I went, it was very convoluted. That's all I was trying to say. But it is fun for how long it lasts, so you can't argue with that. It's a good game. Good fun, 10 minute blast of a game for 60 quid. Doesn't really add up, does it? The maths of that doesn't add up. The math, if you are uh, from a different country. So, uh, yeah, alright, well, you know, that's that, isn't it? It's alright. Not worth the money. Okay. Well, I'm enjoying the game though. I am enjoying playing it. But it's not giving me 60 quid vibes, that's for sure. 
Alright then. That's me done, I think. Roadbusters, a decent coin up by Atari, converted brilliantly to the Mega Drive. Ta-ra!